In this video, you'll learn 17 hacks to improve your working from home experience. Did you know that your working from home experience can take a huge nosedive if not done correctly? Luckily for you, I've got you covered. So let's take a look at a few simple hacks that will take your productivity to the moon. Number one, put all your papers into a filing cabinet. For those whose jobs entail handling a significant volume of documents, a filing cabinet is crucial for effective organization and management. Rather than wasting time rummaging through messy piles of papers, a well-organized file cabinet allows for quick and easy document retrieval. Beyond functionality, if you value the appearance of your workspace, choose a filing cabinet that aligns with your aesthetic preferences. You might opt for a vibrant hue like yellow or blue to add a splash of color, or select a material like wood or fabric to seamlessly blend with your existing decor. Additionally, modern filing cabinets come with features like lock systems for added security and adjustable shelves for flexibility. Number two, create a personalized filing system. The key to effective document organization is finding a system that aligns with your personal or professional needs. While many opt for traditional methods like alphabetical or chronological sorting, there's a plethora of other strategies to explore. For instance, you could organize based on the nature of the document, differentiating between personal and work-related files. Another method is to sort by individual names, such as files related to you, your spouse, or other family members. You might also prioritize files based on their urgency, placing high importance documents at the front, followed by those of medium and low importance. Additionally, a functional approach involves categorizing documents by their required action, distinguishing between items needing immediate attention, like pending bills, and those that are simply for record keeping. Remember, the best system is one that streamlines your access and enhances your efficiency. Number three, use a paper screen to cordon off your working area. Changing the visual aesthetics of your workspace can greatly enhance your ability to mentally segment various portions of your day. And introducing a partition or screen can create a clear demarcation between your professional space and the rest of your living area. Beyond just being a visual barrier, it also acts as a sound buffer, reducing distractions like a family member watching television, children engaging in playful activities, or roommates cooking up a storm in the kitchen. Incorporating such changes not only boosts productivity, but also helps in maintaining a work-life balance, especially in shared living spaces. Number four, make sure your desk is the right size. If you want optimal productivity while working on your tasks, it's crucial to maintain a proper posture by sitting upright, keeping your gaze forward, and ensuring your feet are flat on the ground. If your desk isn't the ideal size, make adjustments to your chair's height, for example, adjust the position of your laptop, or the distance your feet are from the floor, as tailoring your workspace to your stature can prevent discomfort and enhance your ability to concentrate. Number five, organize your setup to boost your comfort levels and physical health. If you feel some aches in your lower back or a stiffness in your neck, your desk setup might be the culprit. Here's a little tip to help you out. When you're sitting up and looking straight, the top of your laptop screen should be right in line with your eyes. And if you glance down just a little, your eyes should meet the center of the screen and keep your screen about 20 inches or just over a foot and a half away from you. Give it a try and see if it makes a difference. Number six, get a standing desk mat. Have you ever come across a standing desk or those anti-fatigue mats near the kitchen sink or in workspaces? They're designed for spots where you're on your feet for a long period. These mats offer some cushioning between you and the hard floor, making standing for over half an hour way more bearable. Plus, some even have these cool textures that feel like a little foot spa as you work. So if you do a lot of standing, these mats may be a game changer for you. Number seven, get a plastic chair mat. If you get a brand new office chair only to find that the wheels won't roll properly on your carpeted floors. The solution is easy. Get a plastic chair mat. Place the mat at your desk and you can roll around easily. This is also a great hack for keeping the carpet clean around your desk and it's much easier to clean a spill from plastic than a carpet when you accidentally knock your coffee mug off the desk. Depending on the size you want, you can get a plastic chair mat for as little as $25. Number eight, upgrade your keyboard. Do you type a lot? Using your laptop's built-in keyboard can take a toll on your wrists, back, and neck since it forces your hands into an unnatural position. To avoid aches and potential injuries, 
consider investing in a separate keyboard that is split into two sections and their keys are rotated around 75 degrees. That means that unlike regular keyboards, the keys actually tilt away from you instead of facing you straight on. Such keyboards might look weird, but they will allow your hands and forearms to rest naturally. Positioning your laptop a few inches from the table will help you sit up straight and avoid painful hunching in your shoulders and back. A good laptop stand will let you adjust its height and angle to your preference and look stylish to boot. Look for a stand you can easily carry around. Alternatively, stack a few books under your laptop if you have a low budget. Number nine, keep your wrists happy with a wrist pad. A wrist pad reduces the pressure on your hands, making you more comfortable when working and reducing the long-term risk of hand injuries. Get a durable one that won't deflate and will let your hands float freely above your wrists when you work. If you tend to eat or drink at your desk, consider looking for a waterproof wrist pad to protect against spills. Number 10. Time your lighting to your schedule with smart lights. Thanks to smart bulbs, switches, wall panels, and light strips, you can design a lighting setup that's perfect for your work from home needs. This is especially helpful if you forget to turn off the lights at the end of the workday or if getting up to turn the light on in the evening breaks your concentration. The most basic option is a smart light bulb, which is available for as little as $10. Install one in your office or workspace, then set it to go on when your workday typically begins and off when it typically ends. On the pricier end, you'll find light bulbs that change colors, respond to voice commands, and even turn on and off using automated workflows. Start with one or two bulbs and build out your setup from there. Number 11, turn off your overhead light. To save energy and create a suitable working environment, use a combination of natural light and lamps. These light sources are diffused, meaning they are less harsh than ceiling lights. And if natural lights and lamps are not bright enough on their own, invest in an incandescent or halogen light and dimmer switch to lower your ceiling light giving the room a soft glow without straining your eyes. Number 12, light your space with lamps. Your parents had a point when they advised you to use a lamp to protect your eyes. A well-placed lamp can help prevent eye fatigue and improve your ability to concentrate on your screen, especially in low light conditions. When shopping for a lamp, go for flexibility, meaning you can adjust the direction and height of the lamp. If you're budget conscious, a desk lamp offers more value for your money. However, if your budget allows, consider investing in both a desk lamp and a floor lamp. The more light sources you have, the easier it becomes to create the ideal lighting atmosphere for any task or time of day. Number 13, get rid of glare by painting your office. Unsurprisingly, it is hard to work when you can barely see what you're working on. If you have tried all the obvious solutions for reducing distracting glare, like readjusting your lighting situation, it's time to take a look at your walls. You will want to avoid shiny walls, which may reflect light too well. Instead, paint your walls in soft colors. Any color in this category will also help you stay calm as a side benefit. Number 14, supercharge your productivity with a second monitor. Employing two monitors offers you twice as much screen space, allowing you to seamlessly access documents, spreadsheets, manage incoming emails and chat messages, view multiple web pages concurrently, and more. If you frequently experience the inconvenience of tabbing between various windows or transferring data from one source to another, integrating a second monitor can be a game-changing solution. And don't be scared off by any technical sounding aspect of it. Setting up and configuring a dual monitor arrangement takes less than five minutes. After the initial setup, you can effortlessly move and arrange windows from your primary screen to the secondary one using simple drag and drop actions with your mouse. Number 15, raise your monitor into the perfect spot with a monitor arm. Try this quick test. Is your screen positioned at approximately arm's length from you, causing you to strain your neck or hunch your back to see it comfortably? If you don't pass the test, consider using a monitor arm. Once attached to your screen, it grants you the flexibility to fine tune its height, position, and tilt to achieve the optimal setup. Make a habit of adjusting it each time you change your desk height, for instance, when transitioning from a standing to a sitting position. This practice will ensure that your neck, back, and eyes feel as comfortable at the end of the day as they do at the beginning. Furthermore, elevating your screen will help you maximize your valuable desk space. Number 16, go green with some plants. 
A few house plants will freshen up your space and give you something calming to look at when you are up against a deadline, dealing with an angry client, or preparing for an important presentation. Tailor your plants to your expertise and attentiveness. Don't buy the high maintenance fiddle leaf if you are not a watchful plant parent. Instead, go for resilient, thriving options even if you forget to water them. For the lowest maintenance option, consider artificial plants. Good ones look so real you will forget they are not after a week or two. And lastly, purchase a headset for high quality audio. You can use your computer's built-in microphone or cell phone, but if you take more than five calls a day, buy a headset. Your voice will come across far more clearly, which your coworkers will appreciate. Plus, many headsets will automatically eliminate any background noise. If you are typing and the other people on the call won't hear the clack, clack, clack sound of your keys, working from home doesn't have to be an extreme sport. As you have seen, you can actually make it fun and enjoyable. That said, Thanks for watching. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are visiting for the first time. Until next time, have a great day.